So this is absolute insanity. This is madness. This is madness. And then Quasi just kicks me into the well. This is Sparta. So, I mean, all of the things are going on for the Vikings right now. We haven't even gotten to Armand for Watts being claimed by the Bears. He's going to start for them and be fantastic, by the way. But so Quasi made a lot of moves. And for the most part, we've loved them. But the two that really stand out, waving Armand for Watts and also waving Amir Smith-Marset. So trading for Jalen Rieger, uh, it, I thought that he got great value. I think Rieger could really explode here with the Vikings. He's a very good punt returner, uh, as well as being a wide receiver four or five. Uh, he, he's got an opportunity. But apparently he's going to be more wide receiver four than wide receiver five. Uh, Tom Pelissero, go. Uh, after trading for Jalen Rieger, the Vikings are waving a wide receiver Amir Smith-Marset per source, which is stunning. Re really, really stunning because I thought that ISM had himself a solid camp, a solid preseason. He struggled as a part return, which is fine, but as just a wide receiver, I thought for sure the speedster from Iowa had secured himself a spot as the wide receiver for, but I guess not. I, I guess not. And what really irks me is that there were so many other spots uh, along the roster uh, where the Vikings could have made a move, right? So... <sighs> Moving on from ISM in year two, I thought that he was going to take a big time leap as a Vikings wide receiver four. But you're telling me that Jalen Naylor would have been more attractive on the waiver wire versus ISM, or he can't just move on from Ole Udo. And if no one claims him, which probably no one would, that you could just put him on the practice squad. But no, like just to make room for Jalen Rieger, you had to move on uh, from Amir Smith Marset, and to make room for uh, make room for Ross Blacklock, you had to move on from uh, Armand for Watts. Is that what you're saying? Plus, uh, there's already talk that the Vikings want to put ISM on the practice squad. That's not happening. That's not going to happen because the a the Lions have the second waiver priority. B the Bears have the number seven priority, at, uh, which they use to get Armand Watts, and both of them do have some wide receiver depth issues. And plus the whole oh get si inside information from teams in your division. It's going to happen. There's 0.0 percent chance that ISM is going to make it through waivers, so the Vikings can put him on the practice squad. Also, the Packers are 28, 100 percent. If he gets there, uh, he's being snapped up. So it's just. I, I don't get this one, man. I, and I, I do have a lot of love for Amir Smith-Marset. I, I think that he put in the work this offseason. I think that he really stepped up here, too. You know, maybe not a KJ Phoenix rising from the ashes uh, type season, but he was definitely trending in the right direction towards uh, at the end of his rookie year. And I I don't know, man. Uh, plus, it may, maybe this is whole Quasi just trying to get rid of the Spielman regime, sure. Because if you look at the 2021 draft, I mean, 2021 like this is not two three years ago this is last year they are they got rid of kellen mond who saw, uh, was claimed on waivers by the browns uh, they got rid of chas Rod, who's with the jets why davis is gone Janaris robinson ism zach davis and jalen twyme and now th there may be some eyes to bring some of these guys back on the practice squad and uh, i saw that they just put the practice squad out i haven't looked at it yet but i mean if christian friggin derisaw wasn't the next trent williams quasi probably cut him too I don't know, man. I, I, I don't I don't know. But, uh, again, I, I do I, – I question this one. Even though I, I, I like the Jalen Rieger trade. I don't know why you had to get rid of ISM. You could have had both of them. And, and I don't know if it's an ego thing but because Jalen Naylor was your draft pick and ISM wasn't. Uh, that uh, – you could have put Naylor through waivers. I, I firmly believe he would have gotten through waivers and onto the practice squad. ISM, zero chance. None. So – it's a little bit of a sweet and sour day. It, like, you got the sweet, 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 and, it, and then you get the sour with ISM. Uh, but then again, there is no sweet without sour. There is no sour without sweet. So, I don't know. We're, we're getting all phys philosophical here. Uh, but either way, your thoughts and our thoughts. Vikings wave wide receiver Amir smith Marset. Why? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.